welcome to Box Free with Stephanie. Today I want to show you how to make some basic foods with simple ingredients from scratch and I hope you discover cooking box free is fast and delicious. So let's cook together. Today we're making broccoli cheese soup because it's another like crazy cold winter day out. Um, and when it's 20 below I just want to make soup. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is basically make a cheese sauce um, for my broccoli cheese soup. Whoopsie. So I have a quarter cup of butter in here. Hopefully this will heat up pretty quickly. Um, so I'm going to do a quarter cup of butter and a quarter cup of flour to make a nice roux and then I'm going to add a bunch of milk and then, oh cheese, I need to get my cheese out. Um, I'm going to add cheese and then that'll make my cheese sauce and then I'm just going to add broccoli and like that's how I make it. Um, because different people do, you can like start out with onion in here um, and saute your onion and kind of make that your base for your roux. And I just never do that for some reason. Oh, plus today I had this broccoli in my fridge. So, um, well, I mean, that's not why I make the roux that way. But anyway, I had to make broccoli cheese soup because I had all this really nice broccoli. So this is like two and a half cups. This is like a full head and then we ate maybe half of it. So, um, you can start out with, you can do like frozen broccoli and then just cook it really quick or fresh broccoli, which is what this is. And then I just steamed it like I was going to eat it. And then this is leftovers. So this has a little bit of butter and salt on it, but not that much. Um, certainly not going to matter. Um, so all I'm going to do right now while I'm waiting for my butter to melt is just chop up my broccoli because you don't want broccoli like this in your broccoli cheese soup. That's just crazy. Um, you have to have like little pieces. Some people even put this soup in the blender and make it like super smooth and like a total pureed kind of soup. Um, I do not. I certainly don't want it that smooth. But I do want my little stems or stalks, I should say, of broccoli to be all cut up. So, um, Sometimes if I am making this and I don't have any broccoli, like that's already cooked, um, then I will actually just steam my broccoli or whatever, cook my broccoli and use my potato masher and like just mash it up, usually right in the pan I'm cooking it in. Um, but because this was leftover, when it's cold, it doesn't seem to mash up with my potato masher as nicely. So then I just cut it up and like into whatever pieces you want. I mean. That's not super tiny, but um, enough to kind of fit on a spoon and to be a little bit small to eat. Um, and then this will probably kind of disintegrate a little bit more, you know, break apart or whatever um, once I have it in my soup and I'm stirring it all up. So I'm going to stick that over there. So basically I've been waiting for my butter to melt and that's in the meantime what I did was cut my broccoli. Okay, now we're going to get rid of all this broccoli mess because that doesn't look very pretty. For a show that I'm making, I guess, I got broccoli under here. We'll throw that over there. Okay, well that didn't do a whole lot, but we'll call that good. Okay, so now I'm going to get my whisk, my handy dandy whisk that I love. Okay, now my butter, butter is like hot, um, which I guess is okay. So I'm going to add the same amount of flour. Ooh, can you see my butter cooking away here? I don't want a brown butter. I've never made brown butter broccoli cheese soup. I could try today, but I'm not going to. Okay, so I'm adding a quarter cup of flour, and then I'm just going to mix that together. And you should end up with like a nice paste um, that is um, like a really thick pudding. It's maybe hard to see, but... Um, and I've heard different things, like I used to just put my water, my milk in like right now. And then I've heard like, well, you should cook out your flour a little bit and, you know, cook it down for a minute. And I'm like, so sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. It kind of depends on if I'm ready. Like I wasn't ready like right now, but now I am. So that's going to be good enough. Okay, so you just wait. You get it. Now it's all nice and bubbly. So I guess if you wait, you feel better about it, like definitely cooking. Okay, let me make sure that I'm reading my recipe right. Three cups of milk. So I'm going to start with my two and I like to always add about a cup and then I really stir it good um, because 
this is when you can make sure you don't have any lumps to get like a smooth gravy or um, a smooth sauce. You just have to stir it right away when all that flour is mixing with your cold liquid. That's how you can avoid your lumps. And then of course stirring it often enough. Okay, so that was, um, <laughs> it was like up on, the, whoopsie, up on the side of my thing. It looks kind of weird, but it smells good. So I'm sure it's fine. It's a brand new thing. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, so now I spill it all over my um, plate here, my hot plate. So this is what it really looks like when I'm cooking. I'm really kind of a messy cook. I mean, I am here sometimes too, but I'm really a messy cook and I've got my dogs to clean up, so it's kind of okay. I don't know, I like to just kind of wing it and be a little bit crazy because I don't want to work too hard at being careful. Okay, so now this is all blended well and so I'm gonna add my third cup of milk. So now I need a little bit of time because my roux will not thicken and make my gorgeous sauce until my milk is like hot and then it does its magic. So um, while I'm waiting, I'm going to grate my cheese because I need, I think, three cups. Let me see. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Whew, I thought I had to make pasta for this. I was like, I forgot the pasta because I'm always making mac and cheese usually when I make this cheese sauce because it really is pretty much the same thing that I, whoopsie. I'm totally messing this up. That's okay. A little bit of broccoli in there isn't going to matter, but I'm not supposed to put the broccoli in yet. <laughs> I don't know. I've never done it early. I suppose I could, but I don't want to. I want this to thicken up when it's just the milk in here, the broth or whatever. Okay. And in the meantime, I'm going to get, let me see if I read that right again. Oh, I see. I saw pasta because I'm looking at my mac and cheese recipe. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's fine, everything's fine. It's 20 below and I'm making soup, so everything is fine. Okay, I'm gonna grate some cheese, which is not that exciting, but I've got this really sharp grater. And I always grate my own cheese. If you buy grated cheese in the package, it has a, um, an anti-caking substance, substance on the cheese itself. And so I never like to put that in anything well, I don't buy it to begin with, but if I was to buy it, I would not put it in something that I'm making a cheese sauce for because I don't want that anti-caking stuff to not allow my cheese to melt beautifully and get really nice and smooth. So I buy my gigantic two pound block and I become a real pro at dealing with this giant thing and like grating the whole thing at once. But you could buy just the eight ounce block and then it'd be a little more manageable. Um, but you just want to grate it is my point. My point, I would say you want to grate it. You don't really want to buy store-bought and I never really measure, but we should today just for the fun of it, huh? I always guesstimate on my cheese because I just feel like it doesn't really matter. Like, I mean, you don't want to put just a cup or, you know, 17 cups in, but you can guesstimate, you know, that's a cup. Oh, that's two. So like, it looks like I should do some more. But my point is you can kind of over cheese this and it's not really going to hurt your soup. Um, you can under cheese it and that could hurt your soup. But then you would just have a creamier, not a cheesier one. So I don't know. Maybe it's okay. But I really do rarely measure. Um, but let's just check. Okay, so I'm guessing this is a cup. And then I'm guessing this is a cup. So I'm thinking I'm pretty close to three cups. So let's see how accurate I am. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to smash it down because I don't really think that's how you're supposed to measure grated cheese. Okay. So that's two. And then this has got to be really close to a cup. So there we go. Magic. It's like magic math, right? Just works out. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit more just because I like cheese in my cheesy soup. And my stuff is starting to get hot. It's not quite steaming yet, but it's almost ready. And then I'm going to be ready. Like broccoli cheese soup, when you have the leftover broccoli and it's already cooked, it's just really fast. The longest thing is to wait for your milk to heat up. But you do want to wait for it to heat up because if you add, well, I don't know, if you add a warm liquid and you're making a roux, I don't think it um, thickens up and does its magic quite as nicely. Maybe it does, but I don't think so. Everything says you should really add a cold, cold liquid. When you're making gravy and stuff and you add like the 
chicken fat or whatever, the drippings. They don't call it chicken fat because that doesn't sound very good. Chicken dri drippings. Um, then you add your flour. You're supposed to add like cold, colder or not like hot stuff. Okay, so now I don't know if you can see, but my milk is steaming. And that's good. So this should start to thicken any time. And then once it thickens, um, I think I'm going to add some salt right now. I'm going to throw this back in the fridge just because I'm done with it for sure. Um, okay, so my thing here says, says a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, that's never going to be enough. Um, I don't think. So I'm going to do like a half, like close to one for sure. Um, and then of course I'll have to taste it because cheese sauce needs a lot of cheese. You got to get that right um, portion of cheese where it's like, boom, you can taste the cheese and it tastes like cheese instead of just like milk or whatever. And I believe that has to do with the salt as much as your cheese. This is just um, medium cheddar, I think, right? Let's see. Medium cheddar. There it is. So if you did sharp, um, that'd probably be really good. I don't know. You could do mild. I... I always have that giant chunk in my fridge, so I don't really have a lot of other cheddars I've done. But you could get fancy and do, you know, Gruyere or uh, what's the other one? There's like a four cheese. You could probably do Monterey Jack, whatever. You know how you go to the restaurants and there's all these different mac and cheeses. I just was at a place and they had loaded mac and cheese. That was just like mac and cheese with a bunch of stuff on top of it. Um, so anyway, there's different ways to do cheeses, I guess what I'm saying is you don't have to stick to cheddar if you want to get a little bit crazy. But for the classic broccoli and, what am I make Broccoli and cheddar, broccoli cheddar soup, you gotta have the cheddar. Oh, Swiss cheese, obviously you could make Swiss and that'd be basically like making a fondue. Okay, this is really steaming. So I'm waiting for my roux, which is my flour and fat combo, to get thickened in my sauce. Um, and then that's gonna be basically as thick as my soup is going to get. And then I'm going to add my cheese, and then I have a cheese sauce, and I'm going to add my broccoli, and then I'm calling it soup. So if you wanted like um, onion or some people put like nutmeg in here too, I guess, and celery, I mean, you could add whatever you wanted and make it a cream of anything. You know, there's cream of cauliflower soup, cream of celery soup, whatever. That's basically the same thing. Um, I mean, the same concept. Instead of broccoli, you're doing a different vegetable. and But you could saute those with your butter and that would all be in your broth already and give you a really nice flavor but um i don't think i've ever in my life made broccoli soup with like onions in it it's always just total cheese like that's it just cheese and broccoli and milk and kind of simple cook over here at the old box free with stephanie shows i don't know okay it's getting thicker it's working um I'll get a spoon here. I should have showed you before. So, okay, this looks super runny still. Obviously, it's not going to be like glop, um, but it is thickening. So, I am going to wait just another minute because I always feel like once I add my cheese sauce, I don't think it's going to really thicken anymore. I don't know. I suppose I should try it sometime, but I always feel like this has to, the milk has to heat up on its own with the roux in there before I add the cheese. Otherwise, I feel like it's not going to work. Oh, I know what I was going to say. There are people in the world who do not pre-cook their broccoli. And they basically throw it in right now. And I wonder if you could do that. I suppose I could because I'm sitting here waiting. But anyway, I never do. But you could. You could put in raw broccoli right now probably while you're waiting for your milk to heat. And then you can actually simmer it for like 15 or 20 minutes. Then add your cheese or add your cheese and let the whole thing simmer for 15 minutes. As long as you have your broccoli cut up into little pieces, it should cook in your thick broth in, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. So, um, so there's always that way, you know. I, for some reason, always pre-cook mine. Probably because I'm used to making this when I have leftover broccoli. So like the thought of putting raw broccoli in a soup just isn't my favorite idea. So... It's looking good. Okay, I think I'm ready. Let me see if I can show you. Like it hasn't thickened up a ton. There's all these little black things and I keep thinking, what is it? And then it's my few little broccoli pieces that I stuck in there. But when you're making soup, you don't really want it to be like a hot dish. I mean, you don't want 
gloss on there. So I think this is looking beautiful. And I can't, I can't smell it yet to see if it smells right. Okay, so there's my two cups of cheese. And this you can just dump in all at once. I should have used a thing instead of my fingers. That wasn't too good. So I mean, I'm kind of a messy cook. Okay, and then I'm going to throw this in. See if I cannot get it all over my stove here. Okay. And now I'm going to stir this. Once this is ready, I'm going to add my broccoli and then I'm going to taste it and then we're ready to eat. Mmm, can't wait. It's going to be so good. I mean, it's just so nice to have a hot soup when it's really cold out. I mean, in the winter, I like to eat a lot of soup, which I don't think my family always appreciates. <laughs> They're like, soup again? But it's not that bad. Okay, this is looking perfect. So now I'm going to add all my cut up, pre-cooked, ready to go broccoli. Um, that's all very nice and small little bitty pieces, which I love. That's great. I got a bunch on here, but I'll, oh, and I don't want to actually use this anymore. So I want to try to get this off of here. I don't really want to use my whisk now because it's just going to get coated with broccoli, just like you see here. This is the problem you're trying to avoid. Put that down and pick up this thing. Now we'll just stir it. All right. Mmm. It looks absolutely perfect. So exciting when food turns out just the way you imagine it. Okay, now I can feel it like sticking on my pan and I don't really think I need it to thicken anymore. Okay, that's it. Like, I don't know, it's been 10 minutes maybe and you have gorgeous broccoli cheese soup, which you could put in a bread bowl if you wanted. Um, this works really well with a bread bowl like compared to like chicken noodle soup, which is super brothy. Um, this thick soup works really nice and it tastes really good with, of course, with all the cheese in there and the thick broth and stuff. So this would work good in a bread bowl or just serve it with bread or crackers or nothing, whatever. This is it. Okay. Oh, I forgot to taste it before I served it up. Darn it. I do that all the time. All right. Let's see how good it is. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Definitely needs a little salt though. Um, I feel like when it doesn't have enough salt, then you are almost tasting more of the broccoli and a little less of the cheese. Ooh, that was a lot for this little bitty bowl. Let's see how this tastes now. See if it's like really salty. And if you like really salty soups, then just put a bunch of salt in. You know, do like half a teaspoon at a time to make sure you're not like, you know, crazy salt. Mmm. Mmm. That's so much better. It's just amazing when you reach that right amount of salt where it's like not salty and, you know, yucky, but perfect. Okay. Wow. That was really fast. We're going to call this done and serve it up. Okay. That's it. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for watching Box Free with Stephanie. I hope you like the show. I hope you make broccoli cheese soup on a cold winter day and your family think it's just delicious. Um, I appreciate your time watching the show. I will see you guys next time. Okay. Bye. Mm -hmm.